Hey guys, how's it going? It's a uh, Tuesday night and here I am doing what I do best, rescuing food. My second rescue of the week. That's another 30 pounds of food. This is about 70 pounds of food. This is 90 pounds of awesome food. This one was roughly 50 pounds of food. Uh, just to give you a little BTS of what's going on right now, CBC is here filming me doing a, uh, basically a, a be one to give day in the life kind of story, which is super awesome. It's Canada's first barrier-free food waste diversion program because we pick up and we drop off. We are the only one that operates similar to an Uber Eats style delivery platform where we pick up and everything that we collect over the course of an hour is dropped off at the end of that hour. The prepared food doesn't have to go in the garbage. It just doesn't. Like, was that a text that, that was just a came text, in? yeah. What does it say? Um, it says food dudes 10. So that means Food Dudes has 10, have used 10 labels. That could probably feed 60, 70 people maybe. I mean, typically I use the subway to cut down on, on carbon emissions, but uh, in this case, we're gonna have to use a vehicle to take it over, to pick it up from Food Dudes and take it over to the shelter. Good to go. Like my resume, I was in banking for 16 years and I worked in the nonprofit sector and I was producing events for 20 years on the weekend. So I wasn't expecting to ever work in food services in general. And I had to s sort of swallow my pride because everyone knew me as Tall Tony, who was this local, dare I say celebrity, but more of a nightlife persona. Uh, having people treat you disrespectfully was just not what I was accustomed to. It was jarring to say the least, but humbling at the same time. You know, seeing the amount of food that we were throwing out on a regular basis and we are just one catering company. So rescuing what I could was great, but then uh, eventually having done this for a while and having other chefs recognize and other managers recognize what I was doing, I started getting calls and text messages saying, I'm at an event and a client wants to donate the food. Where can I take it or where can they take it? So that was something that I, you know, it kind of triggered, wow, like I'm actually changing behaviors within a very successful, well, Canada's largest catering company. Bring the rest. All right, awesome. So for the gram, I always take a picture. Want to make sure that everybody sees that one, we're rescuing food, and two, how much we're rescuing, so that when we're doing our posts and we're sharing it on social media, we're able to show exactly what our impact is on a regular basis, literally per pickup. So everything is labeled, identifies what it is. That's one thing that I learned going and rescuing food and delivering it to a shelter, is that one of the shelter's users asked me is any of this food gluten-free or vegetarian? And I was a bit surprised by that because my attitude was, it's free food. Why are you asking me about food intolerances? Uh, but right away, she said a lot of our users are vegetarians and some of them have food intolerances. So we need to make sure that the food that they're eating is actually safe for them to eat, which is why these labels came into play because now I'm able to identify easily what it is that's in the container so they don't have to worry about you know, whether somebody's eating improper food. Like the feeling of knowing that you're going in and you're providing resources to people, they're not expecting it, and then all of a sudden you show up with food for, let's say, 60 people. For them, it's, it's a win-win for everybody. We've rescued, you know, maybe 100 pounds of food. We're feeding people that they would not normally have food for that night, and we're doing it unexpectedly for them. So everything's identified. If you ever have any questions, phone number's there. Um, if you want to call, but everything is labeled, everything's identified, and there's... This looks really amazing. This is so good. It's very humbling when you see gratitude from others that are suffering in ways that you've experienced yourself. They're still in it. I'm not in it anymore, but I still want to continue to do my part. I started this when I was food insecure and was on social assistance. So everything I'm no longer on social assistance, and I'm no longer food insecure, but I still have the capacity and the drive to do this and continually rescue this food. There's always going to be food waste. So there's always going to be food to rescue.